Rossini, well, for orchestra, of course, it's mainly opera that we play, but he was a prolific um, composer of um, chamber music. Um, and here we have one of his earliest sonata for strings, uh, written when he was just 14 years old. Um, two violins, a cello, and a double bass. Um, in many senses, it's um, an Italian idea of of, of Haydn, this is this is still very much um, uh, classic style. It's balanced, it's elegant, it's restrained. Um, the the well, one of the paintings we paired it with is actually a later work by Corro, painted around 1870, Italian woman, um, another very enigmatic looking face. I must say, there's a real air of mystery about her. A sense of knowing, I think, and I also detect, I think she knows how to have a good time, this woman, but she's holding back. And I love the, the touches of blue and yellow and magenta in the painting. And then I, uh, another of the paintings that we chose was this uh, regatta on the Grand Canal by Canaletto sort of frenetic activity on the Grand Canal, but of course you've also got the Baroque Palazzi on either side. So you've got this sort of classical balance and dignity. So it sits very nicely with the Rossini in that sense. You've got a little bit of um, activity at the front with the aristocratic party boarding their, their gondola. But a little bit like the other paintings, here the buildings are the skin tone, if you like, in their, in their stone colour. You've got the blue of the sky and the blue of the canal. And then you've got these little touches of gold and white and red. It's like something that is meant to be frenetic and busy, but is also very staid, very um, perfect, very balanced. And again, this is, it epitomizes this style in music where everything was set and everything was done according to, to rules. So here we have um, uh, Rossini, again, uh, very much in the classical period. The music is very um, elegant, refined, uh, balanced, but it has a little bit of that southern energy about it. So uh, the, there is something different from Haydn because it's, it's written by an Italian. Uh, it follows the rules, but there's, 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 there's somehow more joy and life in it than perhaps, perhaps you have in the Haydn. So um, Rossini wrote this piece as a boy. He was your kind of classic uh, boy musical genius. And uh, we thought it would be very interesting to uh, pair the sonata for strings with the Graham children by Hogarth. It's clearly a little bit earlier in date than uh, the piece by Rossini, but uh, music plays a role in that painting too. Uh, the little boy on the right, uh, Richard Robert, uh, is actually playing a serenette or a, a bird organ. And you can see he's looking up at the bird in the cage. So the idea is to encourage the bird to sing. So music plays an interesting role in this picture. And uh, I think the association between uh, music and children and uh, music and wonderful National Gallery uh, painting uh, acts as a wonderful introduction for this one piece by Giochino Rossi. Um, I was particularly pleased to be approached by uh, the LPO uh, to do this collaboration. I was very keen that um, during the lockdown period and coming out of lockdown, uh, we might be able to do a musical collaboration. Uh, the LPO and the National Gallery are great UK cultural institutions. Uh, it was a natural partnership, uh, and I'm delighted that we've been able to do it together. It's not been easy. Uh, there's the, all, all the complications of uh, social distancing and all the limitations that the uh, COVID uh, pandemic has imposed on us. But there's no doubt that art and music must uh, help to see us through 
at this difficult period. Uh, music and art are among the things that really raise the human spirit. And I'm delighted that this collaboration uh, can help us and help our listeners in some way uh, to come through this difficult period. I would echo everything you've said, um, Gabrielli, there. Um, I think the uh, really significant thing here, too, is that um, in difficult times, we stand together, work together, try and find ways to keep our audiences interested in what we do in concerts in the gallery, um, provide some hope and inspiration, I hope, for getting through rather difficult times. Um, it has been a great pleasure to do this. I mean, my office is working remotely as, as, as you obviously are. I feel I have been a little bit more remote uh, than, than the rest of my staff by being on the other side of the world. But it's interesting how one can still participate and do one's job um, and, and perhaps find different sorts of inspiration by being in a different environment. Um, I think out of difficulties like this come new ideas and new ways of doing things. And I'm ever the optimist. I think that uh, there will be a bright future and we will do more collaborative projects, a lot of interesting things that we might never have thought of if we hadn't had this experience. I very much look forward to that, Tim. Um, thank you to you. Thank you, Tim Walker. Thank you, uh, the LPO, the London Philharmonic Orchestra.
Thank you.